So, I just finished getting my hair done and I feel like I'm a wrap. And I'm just trying to make it home. I have been lots of traffic, but um, I really, I just, I wanna get home. <laughs> I wanna take something, I wanna get in bed. That is my plan. Um, I don't know if it's the flu, I don't know what it is, but it is on my head right now. And sorry for the soft whisper. I, I don't know what to tell you. So, <coughs> <coughs> um, yeah, I told my hairstylist, I was like, hey, hi. I was fine. I was so good this morning. And then I walked around the University of Denver campus, and that wind was going into my chest, and my chest started burning. And I was like, oof. Then my head started hurting. And it is going south. everybody welcome back to a sweet journey i am sonia also known as sweets it is the end of the year and <clears throat> i uh tested positive for covid and the flu and right after i got uh so i got home on a tuesday well really wednesday and um my godsons were here and they had been sick but um them and their mom had been sick and I uh I um uh, oof, brain's a little foggy sorry but uh anyway we had them for like two days um Wednesday and Thursday she picked them up Thursday night I uh, went to get my hair done on uh Thursday anyway so uh I have been sick I've been weak I've been in the bed Yesterday was the first day that I actually got up and got in this chair. As far as I'm going, uh, I'll walk to the kitchen sometimes, but yeah. Um, didn't really celebrate Christmas. <coughs> so yeah, here we are. I thought I'd share a couple of lessons. So the first one's a little bit hard because I feel like I've already started uh, running without my teeth, without my feet, <laughs> oh. without my feet touching the ground. I feel like I've already started um, um, on the first of January. I start a second job uh, as a, a faculty adjunct coach an adjunct faculty coach for the University of Denver. And I'm really excited about it and I love it. Um, it is a lot. I've been trying to prepare and that has been um, really hard. So, um, but the lesson that I am really wanting to learn is to slow down a little bit. I think I am, um, I don't know if it's a grinder, I don't know what it is, but I have intentions and um, and I don't know. I feel like I'm ending the year uh, having done like 100 miles an hour and my body just was like, hey, we are done, buddy. And I think that is a lesson. It's like um, I have intentions to take time for myself at least a day that is literally for restoration so that I'm not just running, running, running and um, don't stop. So I think that's a lesson. Like you cannot run on all cylinders all year. That just doesn't work. You have to have downtime and you have to have um, restoration time. So that is the first lesson. Lesson number two, I think, is, um, I think in, if I look back on 2023, um, I did a lot of things that I didn't necessarily want to do. I just, I did it because somebody else expected me to do it. And um, I like to do much less of that, much, much less of that. I, um, yeah, I think I was really 
unfortunate. Um, uh, this when I got back in town, I had events. I had like about two or three events scheduled, and I physically could not do it. Actually, one of them, um, like my friends got sick and it got canceled. Another, then I got sick and. Anyway, um, but the whole time I could have just said no, I don't feel like it, but I didn't do that. And I like to do more of that. I like to do more of making choices based on like uh, what I really feel like doing and um, not just saying yes to be people pleasing and accommodating. So yeah, that's the second lesson. I think um, the last lesson that I'll share is um, really take good care of yourself. Um, eating right, working out, like the thing that, um, that, I'm sorry, the thing that, these are the, like basics, you know? And for me, um, like I love to walk. I love trap cardio. I love trap cardio. I love yoga. And I was so busy this year that I didn't do those things. And those are the things that keep me strong. And um, and I want to do more of that. I want to I want to um, really live a very healthy life and. Um, and do things that I enjoy from a health perspective. So I want to restore those things. And that's my intention to do that. And this time next year, I hope to not be talking in a camera, um, not feeling 100%. So here we are. It is New Year's Eve and I feel so much better. I still have a little bit of a cough, but nothing compared to where I've been. And uh, about an hour ago, my niece gave birth to little Miles, a one, two, three, one, two, three baby. Mm, so we're really excited about that and just excited about whatever is waiting for us in 2024. So. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you all for hanging out with me. And those of you who have been praying for me, I appreciate it so much. And uh, let's do big things, shall we? Thanks for watching. See you next year, God willing. <laughs>